What's going on Wastelanders? Draco Invictus here with another Fallout 76 video. This video is going to be kind of short, but I wanted to share my thoughts with the game. You know, and I want to share with all you guys. Several of you have asked me on Twitter and Discord and all my various social media what I thought about the announcement and all the corresponding <laughs> interviews and all that stuff. And last night, well, early this morning, I launched uh, my video about everything that I had learned about the game. But I re didn't really talk about what I felt about the game. So let me start off by saying I'm going to buy Fallout 76. I'm going to buy it for my Xbox One. I'm going to be part of the beta program. I'm going to help, in my small way, shape the game that we get at launch. However I can. I'm going to try and break that some bitch is what I'm going to try and do. Because that's what they want us to do. They want us to, to go out and, and figure it out. And I'm totally okay with that. But let's talk about the actual game itself. So, for a long time... I've wanted to be able to invite you guys into my settlements. The only way I can really do that is by releasing a video. You know, whether it's a builder showcase or it's a let's build or anything like that. That's the only way that I've ever been able to allow you to see the things that I've built. And, of course... Even with Fallout 76, that is still going to be the case. The primary way that I'm going to be able to show you guys what I've done is through videos just like this one. But, now I can build with you guys. I, I can... I, my friends list, I, I'm getting, hey, add me, add me, add me, you know, I want to be on your friends list kind of a thing. Almost every day. And it's because you guys are enjoying the things that I'm doing. You watch me do a live stream or a let's build or something like that. And you're like, I, I want to hang out, you know, and I am absolutely okay with that. And uh, yeah, we're going to have some good times. So I am going to buy Fallout 76. Let me talk about the gameplay mechanics here. So I've wanted multiplayer for a couple years now. But let's rewind. When I was buying Fallout 4 which I pre-ordered as well, and I pre-order very few games. But I knew, okay, Bethesda's making this game. I really enjoyed Fallout 3. I even really enjoyed New Vegas that was made by Obsidian. And it, don't get me started on which one's better, because you may not like my answer. And that goes for every one of you. <laughs> because I can, I can actually argue it both ways for both games. So anyway... I pre-ordered Fallout 4, but I wasn't sure that I was going to like some of the mechanics that they had altered between Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. And it turns out that the building aspect is the one thing that I love the most, and that was the thing I was most worried about. So, bravo to Bethesda for actually innovating in a game series. Is this what all of us wanted, every aspect of it? No. Are there certain things about... Fallout 76 that kind of have me a little leery? Yes. But I'm just going to have to play them. They could end up, just like the building aspect of Fallout 4, they could end up being my favorite part of Fallout 76. And I want to see that again in the next game. So there's a lot of people that are upset. You know, oh, this is not my Fallout. You know what? You're right. It's not your Fallout. It's not my Fallout. It's Bethesda's Fallout. But this, the more I think about it, the more this is going to take me back to a long time ago when I was doing tabletop gaming, D&D, &D, all those things. I, that's what this kind of has a feel like to me. I'm going to be able to kind of hyper-specialize a character... That let's say I'm running with three of you guys, you know, we're, we're teaming up. Okay, here's, here's my character. Here's what he's really good at. Maybe he's the ranger of the group. Maybe he's the wizard of the group, or she. Or maybe I'm the healer of the group. That is incredibly enticing to me. 
And the fact that there are going to be other human players out there, you know, Pete Hines said it himself. He goes, when you hear gunfire before, you'd be like, oh, someone's shooting at something over there. Now you're going to be like, I wonder if that player wants help. Because that's another player shooting a gun over there. So now it, it's really going to open up our, our scope of how we look at the game. I don't think that they're cheaping out, you know, by, by cutting out human NPCs. And notice I said human NPCs because that's exactly what they keep referring to. There's still going to be NPCs in this game to give us quest lines and stuff like that. But they may be uh, smart, non-violent super mutants. They may be ghouls. They may be robots. They, there's any other number of things that could be giving us quest lines other than just a human. So, okay, I'm okay with that. Would I have liked to have seen a few humans, at least a small little settlement or something? Yes, because that means that at least someone survived and wasn't too terribly irradiated. But we're also talking a very short time frame. Most unradiated humans, aka non-ghouls, are probably still in vaults. Most people probably did not survive without some sort of mutation or something like that that moved them out of the human category. So I'm okay with that. Let's, uh, so I can run this game by myself. I can run it with up to three more people on a server that's going to house 24 to 32 on a map that's four times bigger than Fallout 4. Like I said it in my other video. How often are you going to run into a random person? I'm guessing very little. I know I will be because I'm, I'm the explorer type. I'm the guy that goes, oh, I'm heading down this road. Oh, what's that? You know, and I will spend two hours up on the side of a mountain exploring some mine or something like that because it just piqued my interest. So before you get too down on this game, take a step back and say, look, Bethesda is innovating. They're not going backwards. They're not just rehashing something. They're, they've created, they turned an entire state into a game. That's pretty awesome. This map is going to be fucking huge. So, before you get too down on them, you know, just kind of sit back and think about it. You know, hey, do I want to run with Draco? Do I want to run into Draco? Huh? Maybe not if I'm playing my raider character. No, I won't be too griefy, I promise. And as far as the griefing and stuff like that is concerned, do you really think that some one ass hat or two ass hats, if we get two groups of four together, or three groups of four together, or four groups of four together, do you really think the, the griefing ass hats stand a chance? Absolutely not. They're strength in numbers, right? So you may not like this game, even after this video. And I'm okay with that. There's uh, things that I'm certainly concerned about. But I'm at least going to check it out. And hopefully I'll be able to talk about some of my experiences during the beta. And maybe you guys will be like, oh, hell, it's like this? Okay, cool, I'm on. Or it's like this? Oh, hell no, I'm out. And, and understand that we weren't supposed to get a Fallout game. Looking at the cycle of Bethesda, we weren't seeing Fallout 5 for a long while. The fact that we got this just three years after Fallout 4 is incredible. Think about that. How many years have you been waiting for another Elder Scrolls game that wasn't Elder Scrolls Online? So, just keep that in mind. Look, this may not be your perfect Fallout game, but it is a Fallout game. And it's a Fallout game set in an entirely new area with new monsters and new things to explore, new stories to check out, new places to visit, and you get to do it with your friends. That's not a bad gig. So, okay, I've rambled on long enough. If you guys have any questions, comments, kicks, or complaints, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. Let me know. Do you plan on getting it? What platform do you plan on getting it? And no, I don't know anything about cross-platform yet. So, but I do have, you know, I've sent messages out to certain people in Bethesda, and hopefully I'll hear back from them. 
Because no one seems to be asking that question. I don't know why. If I'm at E3, I'd be asking why. Hey, is that cross-platform? You know, what are we doing with that? So, until next time, Wastelanders, you take care of yourselves out there. This is Drake Invictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya!